scientists at CERN just discovered a new type of dark matter. If we can figure out the properties of dark matter, we learn what our galaxy is made of, said Joshua Ruderman, an associate professor of physics at New York University. It would be transformative, he added. What does the universe consist of? A rational person would say that the universe is a whole lot of space and energy that this space contains, it includes time, you me, and everything that we see. The Earth and Moon are a part of this humongous universe, and all the planets find a home in this universe, the sun that we wake up to every day is the highly popular star of the Milky Way galaxy which by the way is also the home of humans, and most of these stars have their own planets, known as exoplanets, many of which are still unknown to us. However, scientists believe that there is certainly something that holds us all together, and this is nothing but matter and the intriguing pull of gravity that binds us all together. It is this matter that has always been an area of interest for CERN, as they are always trying to get more and more insights into the world of dark matter. It is this curiosity of physicists at CERN that aided them in a landmark finding. CERN is the same organization that is famous for making the discovery of the Higgs boson particle that was crucial to understanding the creation of the universe. Thinking about how to get people to understand the Higgs boson, I think of a Hollywood party, okay? If you are unknown, an unknown actor, at a Hollywood party and you enter and the bar is across the way, you could just walk there with no impedance to your progress. You have a low party mass, <laughs> okay? If you are famous and you walk in, if you're Beyonce and you walk into a party, people crowd around you and you cannot move very quickly. You have accreted party mass. So the Hollywood party field granted the popular person more mass than the unpopular person. And this is a, when you want to think about why one particle has a higher mass than another, you can think of this sort of interaction with the Higgs field. And now after the pause that the machinery at CERN takes for upgradation, it is back to finding matter that is integral to the creation of the universe, they have nicknamed it the ghost particle. What is CERN? CERN is one of the most highly reputed European organizations for nuclear research, where physicists and engineers with the assistance of the world's largest and most complex scientific instruments study the basic constituents of matter, the fundamental particles. These particles go through a collision that benefits the physicists to gather about how the particles interact and provides insights into the fundamental laws of nature. Founded in 1954 and nestled near the Franco-Swiss border close to Geneva, CERN was one of its kind back then and today has more than 22 member states. What should we know about CERN? If you think that CERN has only contributed in finding the dark matter, its origin, and mass you are in for a joyride on how this organization made history with its landmark discoveries, the World Wide Web. Yes, CERN had also rendered assistance in the Department of Computer Science. The World Wide Web or WWW that we cannot do without is an outcome of productive brainstorming at CERN. The WWW project was initially named ENQURE and was headed by Tim Berners-Lee in 1989 and Robert Calio in 1990. This contribution was so magnanimous that both Tim and Robert were honored by the Association for Computing Machinery in 1995 for their contributions to the development of the World Wide Web. The model was based on the concept of hypertext that was intended to provide sharing of information between researchers. After a few successful runs, CERN declared in 1993 that the World Wide Web would be free for anyone to use. And before this huge success in the form of the World Wide Web, CERN had mastered the introduction of Internet technology in the early 1980s. The Higgs boson. The Higgs particle, which is considered to be the primal source of investigation for further investigation of dark matter, is also a discovery made by CERN. The Higgs boson is a massive scalar boson with zero spins, no electric charge, and no color change. It is also one of the fastest decaying particles leading to amalgamation with other particles. Boson is a concept of particle physics which means a subatomic particle that has a spin quantum number of an integer value like 0 1 2. Creation of the Large Hadron Collider CERN developed the Large Hadron Collider which is perhaps the most gigantic and possesses the highest energy in the world. It was built after liaising with over 10,000 scientists and hundreds of universities. It resides 175 meters deep in a 27 kilometers long tunnel. The purpose for creating the Large Hadron Collider is to assist the physicists in testing the different theories of particle physics that also included scraping and measuring the properties of the Higgs boson. What did scientists at CERN actually find? 
To understand the findings by CERN we have to dig deeper into the biggest achievement of the Large Hadron Collider as the superstar in hibernation has given all the acclaim and success to CERN. To understand better we have to go back in time to 1930 when scientists were working on a process called beta decay. They realized that this process defies two laws the law of conservation of energy and the law of conservation of momentum leading to protons and electrons behaving abnormally due to the invasion of a foreign element. A physicist named Wolfgang Pauli theorized in 1930 that this might be an extra particle that is unseen in the final outcome resulting in this obnoxious behavior of protons and electrons. He reiterated that the particle he had detected can never be detected, and CERN paid an extraordinary tribute to the legendary physicist by finding the missing link to the neutrinos. The massive budget that was spent in the creation of the Large Hadron Collider had been worth it when this collider started giving results and making amazing discoveries. Finding Neutrinos The LHC found ghost particles that were named neutrinos which were amongst the tiniest particles ever discovered during the test run of this gigantic machine. With its impressive first experience the two on a test run it was given a green signal to dig deeper and do what it does best collide. Neutrinos are highly elusive and created by different nuclear processes. Hence, they are called the ghost particles. These particles do not have an electrical charge and only interact or exchange conversations with gravity and weak force which is responsible for the radioactive decomposition of atoms. Scientists say that these neutrinos outnumber protons a trillion times. Neutrinos however are crucial for scientists to know more about the beginning of the universe as they are highly informative. Neutrinos come in three different varieties that were not known until now and are a discovery within a discovery. The ordinary neutrino is called the electron neutrino and its two siblings are called muon neutrino and tau neutrino. Fortunately, the LHC detected a lot of neutrinos amalgamated with the debris in the machine. The LHC holds a lot of these ghost particles that can be better examined once the machine stops running in 2025 for some time for its upgradation and examination processes. A new detector called FAS Arano is all set to get attached to the LHC to study the different prototypes of these neutrinos. What is dark matter? Scientists believe that the universe is full of matter since they can detect its gravitational signals from it. Dark matter is responsible for the expansion of the universe. Hence, it is crucial to know what this matter is made up of. Dark matter occupies a countless amount of space so measuring it is a difficult but not an impossible task. It is the magic of dark matter that refrains galaxies from colliding. With an open-ended theory by the scientists that dark matter is invisible to us they believe that dark matter outnumbers visible matter. A part of Einstein's theory of gravity comes into the picture as he was the first person to realize that empty space is not anything. Space has amazing properties, many of which are just beginning to be taken seriously. He said that it is possible for this empty space to expand and if this expands leading to the ultimate expansion of the universe. This theory was never taken seriously and was discarded, but CERN made a lot of discoveries keeping in mind the theory that empty space has a lingo that takes a little while to get a hang of. The bottom line. Now you understand why you're told to keep a hand on your mouth while sneezing just so that you don't invade dark matter and do not stop the expansion of the universe. Dark energy is what's driving the expansion of the universe. Dark matter is what's keeping it together. Dark energy is poised to prevail, and in time, all objects in the universe will be shredded into tiny particles again. Isn't that exciting?